Right, Jamie here. I uh, wanted to discuss something about the coronavirus uh, and the pandemic and the fact of the amount of UK deaths altogether and excess deaths. Um, what I'm about to say might sound very selfish and it might do, but was it intentional? Was it the government's intention to kill off as many people as they could? Now, when you say something like that, it's like, wow, this doesn't sound good. Why would you say that? But, and I'm going to go back to an interview that was from kind of the start of when the UK went into lockdown anyway, which was like in April. Um, and Boris Johnson, in an interview himself, said, we want the virus to spread through the population and then eventually it will just disappear. And like, well, yeah, the virus will eventually just go. But you said it yourself, you want the virus to go through the whole population. Um, and when you say something like that, it's like you want to kill off those people that can't survive it. And when you say that, it's like, oh, we've got like, oh, we've got like 43,000 deaths. Like, they're saying that like it's a good thing. I'm like, what? no, it's not. If It's really not a good thing. Like, if I boasted about... If you're boasting about the fact that we've got one of the worst death tolls in the world, that's not a good thing. That's not something to brag about. That's like, oh, we're sorry to hear that. But was it the government's intention really to kill off the population? I think it was. I think it was. Like, there's a lot of people who are not fit, not good for exercise, or like they just don't have a good immune system. Uh, the majority of the deaths have come from the elderly population, to be fair. So when you think about it, and then also as well, when you think about this as well, a lot of the people that were in hospitals weren't tested and then were put into care homes deliberately, and then you see all the people in care homes are dying. Like, a mass amount. I'm like, yeah, that was done... I think that was done deliberately to knock a few hundred, 200, whatever people out. I'm just saying a, no, a random number. But it makes me think. And then when you hear, well, my dad has some knows someone from New Zealand, a country I'd really like to go to one day, but can't do at the moment because of travel, whatnot. Um, but they had 100 cases in a day and they went into full, full lockdown. Not this, you can go out one day, one exercise a day. Um, you can do this, you can go out, go out if you can, but don't go out, don't go out if you can, go out, whatever, all that bullshit. And they had the only reason, the only people that could leave their home were doctors, anyone that worked for a hospital, anyone else had to full on, full on stay inside their home. And they did that for like a very, very long time. But in that whole time, they had 22 deaths from the virus, just 22. And the UK has got 43,000 people. They did it right. We've done it wrong. And our government is like, oh, but uh, having this amount of deaths is a good thing. I'm like, no, it isn't. Um, I've been really wanting to talk about this for a while, but I just haven't because, you know, you're, you're talking about something that's really serious. Uh, but a lot of people are not talking about it on the Internet. I've been I've been typing it in on the Internet and a lot of people have, it's been mostly news, and they want to say what they want to say, but they're following a script. I'm not following a script, I'm talking from up here. In my head. Um, and then when you see, like, stuff in the papers about uh, people going to all these beaches and doing this and that, I'm like, people are forgetting... That there's a pandemic going on. I was like, you do realise if you're going to go to a beach. Bournemouth Beach was appalling. 
absolutely appalling. I'm like, you want to go, you know there's a virus and the best way this virus can spread is if there's a, a mass amount of people in a short space. So all the people in Bournemouth, cracking job for this virus, because the likelihood of that lot of people getting the virus is fucking high. Really high. But did he care? No, because there was already there. Um. Yeah, I, I actually can't think. I'm struggling, honestly. People, and people are like, will there be a second wave? You're damn right there will be. Because people, and people are looking towards like, why is England, Wales, Scotland, and Ireland doing all this? Well, I'm just going to say England now, because the other countries are following rules of what it should be. And England are the thick shits. Apparently. And, the, and other countries look at us like, oh, why is England Why is England not doing so well? Because we ran by fucking knob jockeys in government. That's why. And just the country altogether. Uh, there's nice people. There's people following. But by God, there's a lot not. <sighs> right. I've said what I want to say. Um, I've been wanting to do this for like two months now and it's just not thought to myself I'll do it right so do you agree with me do you not agree with me I don't know it's up to you <sighs> right thanks for watching and uh, goodbye